All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. This is a Christian Prince with you again, and today we would have a good time together. Please invite your friends, and let us have. All right, hello everyone, and oh, we have the sound coming twice. All right, let us have a good time together, and see if the Abdul is really there to debate us. Uh, let me be sure first that my uh, uh, my Skype is open. Then again, Abdul are welcome to call only Abdul. I don't want any Christian to call me, please. At least for now. <clears throat> uh, you see, it, it is uh, uh, funny how the coincidence happened. Uh, I named the video uh, today in that name, and I wasn't aware of that uh, video I played for you like now about uh, a Muslim asking uh, this guy hijab if he can debate me or not. Uh, I wanted to make a challenge to all the Muslims, especially those names, the Muslims, they call them, they think they are scholars, when the fact they are scam. So I named the video in such a name, unaware <clears throat> that somebody asked uh, uh, hijab already, is he, if he is willing to debate me or not. And now he said he is willing to debate me. He said he have to come to me. Who, is, who are you to come to you? I mean, come to you? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Either you want to debate me or not. And now let us see what the excuse he will come with. Is he going to make execute the same as Shabir Ali? Zakir Naik once, he said to me, I have to bring to me with me 2,000 Christians. Are you capable of bringing with you 2,000 Christians? And I have to fly all, all, all the way to Bangladesh, I think. <laughs> You have to come to me, Abdul. You are you you are no one. You see this uh, this is this is drama you made and you're uh, you know he came out from the debate as if he is the lion who like I will finish him I will finish him yes and he, I will finish he, I, I cannot wait to finish me I am here almost every day I am here almost every day and look guys I post for him already many challenges in his page. The coward, he keep deleting my challenges. I was looking, where is the post I made for him? I could not find it. This is my last post for him. I'm recording it this time. So you will see that this guy, he will delete it later. He will take it off. He's a coward. I cannot find my post challenging him to debate and this is under the video who just made about his supposed full debate you know and that's mean he is seeing my challenge otherwise how who is going to delete the challenge unless he saw it and this time we are recording this so we can keep this a challenge there it's going to be very embarrassing if he go and delete it same time, we made a video already for him saying, I am a Christian prince. I am, I cannot wait for you to finish me. Please. I'm so excited. And not only that, in my challenge I made for him, I made it clear. I have no problem if he invite with him his partner, Ali Dawa. Or even Shabir Ali. Or even Zakir Naik, bring with you as many as you want. And not only that, I am offering you during the debate the offer of you can call a friend anytime, any second, as much as you wish. And during the debate, I am me myself, I'm going to ask you, do you feel like you need to call a friend? See how easy I made it for you? I will ask you every few minutes, do you want to call a friend? Please don't hesitate to call a friend. And you will see, this guy, he will never ever accept to debate me. He came to this guy in the video. He thought he is going to shake hands with him, etc. He is happy that, you know, okay, I made a debate and David Wood could not answer. The fact, you see, the problem is there is people they go to debate and they are not really they are not debaters you know uh, when you go in debate especially with muslims you expect lies debate can be a debate if we have two people who believe in a religion 
and they are honest we assume right away that when we have a debate between two religious people we will have an honest answers from both parties but this is not the case of in Islam in Islam it is about how I can lie and deceive not about how I can be honest and refute and actually I made a video uh, I don't know if you guys you saw it uh, let me show you the video let me post it for you for those who did not see it yet give me a second <clears throat> Anyone want some tea? <clears throat> All right, my channel. I posted the video in the other account, the new backup account. I am starting using it. The video is called Career Ending. The video is called Career Ending. Please, all of you, go watch it. Hijab, he posted a video saying that this is a career ending to David Wood. I posted a video to show this career ending was the ending for who? Please watch it and die laughing. Career ending? I challenge this Abdul to debate me and do career ending to me. I like it. I want to get certified by Muhammad Hijab. I want to get the stamp in my back the same as Muhammad. He have a stamp in his back. It says he's a prophet. Have you ever heard of a stamp? Why? He's a goat. Since when God, he stamped somebody saying a prophet. Did Allah stamp Musa, my friend? Do you think, do you think your God, Allah is a butcher and he stamped his goats one by one? Certified goat. Certified goat. Please. Finish my career. Be the man. This video I just made in the other channel just a few minutes ago. Career ending debate for David Wood. This is what he posted in his channel. And this is what the Muslims are posting. It's a career ending to your prophet, my friend. The answer you gave us in that debate is a priceless. And I will tell you a very simple reason why this guy now will not dare to accept to debate me because of what he said in that debate it is horrible if I use what only he said to David Wood in that debate this guy he will turn into be French fries potato only if I don't ask him about anything else And guess what? He debate only about the Trinity. Why? Because he's afraid to talk about Islam in general. And he debate only those who don't speak Arabic. Why? So he can tell them, <laughs> you don't speak Arabic. <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> I know it's coming. <laughs> and then the idiot, he says that the word you solely mean pray for, not pray to. Well, thank you very much. This is what David would say, you idiot. And the stupid Abduls who they are laughing, they did not notice that this is exactly what David Wood said. David Wood, he did not say he prayed to, he said he prayed for. And you agreed with him that Allah he prayed for. Oh, David Wood, let me teach you Hebrew. Uh, Elijah means God is with us. Only donkeys will say, claim such a knowledge. If you do not know, why you open your mouth? Elijah means God is with us. Who told you that? Who is the donkey who told you that? Give me his name. Take a selfie with him. Is that Shabir Ali? <clears throat> Let us see. Guys, we have why we have only three hundred people watching. Where's everybody? You never know. We might have, uh, uh, what his name, Hijab, call me and do career ending right now, as we speak. You never know. I mean, those guys, they can't find me. I am every day almost. I, I, guys, isn't it true that I'm almost every day doing live broadcast? Isn't it true? And I don't stay for five minutes. I stay for hours. 
why this Abdul never never thought about calling me and do career ending please please I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting for the career ending why Shabir Ali don't want to do career ending for me I mean it's going to take you five minutes and you will knock me down man I cannot wait brothers sisters I want to do career ending yeah bring him for me I will finish him <laughs> now you Muslims be my witness you will see this guy he don't mean it I gave him 10 days to respond to me as long as he accepted to debate me and he said he will finish me. I gave him 10 days to name his day and his time. So he have no excuse. He can't say I'm busy this day and that. Busy. Name your day, name your time. 10 days. And you will see if he accept that date, if he ever, he will accept a date for maybe three months from now or at least 30 days from now. Why? Because he want to go and prepare. But he cannot prepare. Because I will not accept any debate as a prepared, which means it's an open debate, as, we, as, as I offer. You see, if this guy, he have a knowledge, as he claim, then he will be ready for any question. And if I am a person who have knowledge, I will be ready for any question. Equal rules. Any question from you, any question from me. Those people don't debate. You see, all those debates, funny debates, Tawheed and etc. It's a preset debate and five minutes for you, five minutes for me. At the end of the day, nobody said anything. The guy, he go on the table, he read what he wrote for you two weeks ago. It's an article. But nobody's debating. Here, we don't do that. We will show the reference in the screen. We will make people read it and we will make you read it. Any question from you? Any question from me? Who they are? Right? Tawheed is the haq. Uh, 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 Abdul in the text is saying Tawheed is the haq. My friend, if Tawheed is the haq, how come it's not exist in the Quran? Same time, the word Tawheed does not mean the oneness of God. Tawheed means unification. I mean, how stupid it is to say to me, we believe in the oneness of God, but you use the word Tawheed. You choose the wrong name, the wrong word. If I believe in one God who is not the Trinity or he is a two person or three person or four person, then how you use Tawheed? But you people do not know what Tawheed mean. You are copy paste people who have no idea what are you talking about. Even in your Muslim website, it says that Tawheed means unification, unifying God. Copy paste nation. Just to give you an example, do you remember, guys, the Sheikh who called me just two days ago? He wanna debate me too. All of them they wanna debate me about Tawheed and Trinity. Why? Because they are ashamed of their cult. They think if they say that we have one God, that will make the religion is a religion. There is there is a church in San Francisco. It's, it's called the church, but it's not Christian. They claim that their God is Satan. It's called the church of Satan. Okay, their God is one. So, does that mean they have a following true God? What does that mean that you believe in one God? What does that mean? We believe in one God before you. You don't have a God to believe in God. Who is your God? If we ask the Muslims, who is Allah? They don't even know. What Allah means, they have no idea. Muhammad himself, he never saw Allah, never spoke to Allah. He never heard the breed of Allah. How he can be the prophet of Allah? Have you ever heard of a messenger? He never received a message from the God directly? You see, in the Bible it says that Mary, she received a message from God. But Mary is not a prophet. God speak to his prophets why Muhammad even the Quran confirm that all all the messengers of Allah Allah spoke to them Allah even spoke to Satan the only one Allah he don't want to speak with 
is Muhammad. <coughs> Hello? Hello, Mr. Muslim. Hmm? What happened? <coughs> Let us call you back. Answer, my friend. Answer. What happened? You called me. What? You took it back? Please, if you are a Muslim, give me a call. All right? Especially if you are a person who claim have a knowledge. Guys, how many of you watched the debate between me and the Sheikh Muhammad? The one I have three days ago. I think it was November 13th. If you don't if you did not see it yet, please go and see. See what happened to the Abdul in that debate. He called me and he said to me, Christian Prince, oh hold on, hold on. In the in, in Skype, he was saying, I, I want to be sure. I said, Call me. Didn't you say you want to debate me? He said, wait, I want to be sure that this is recorded. You, you want to be sure what? He wanna be sure that this is recorded. Okay, it's recorded now. Why the Muslim don't post it around? As long you made victory. How come you don't post it around? You see, I challenged Muhammad Hijab to send me a message to say, I agree and I have no problem if a Christian prince posts my debate in his channel. You see what I'm using now to post the debate of Muhammad Hijab to get him busted? I'm using sub-channels, which means it's not my major channel. Because I know he will flag me. I know he's a coward. I say to you Muslims, take my video. Debate me, record it, post it in your channel. How come you don't dare to say the same to Christian Prince? Even the debate I have with them, they flag it. My debate with Sheikh Muhammad, after five minutes, from finishing the debate, the guy, he asked his followers to go flag it by hundreds, if not thousands, and the video disappeared from YouTube. We complained to YouTube, and we got it back. He tried to take it down. Why? Because it was a horrible debate. The guy, he called me, supposedly he is going to expose me. He said to himself, okay, I'm going to call a Christian prince, and I will debate about Tawheed the same as Hijab debate David Wood. My friend, you have no idea you are talking to who. One of the reasons I don't have mirrors in my home because I don't want to get scaled. Call me. Should I say the same as the uh, hijab he said to you, to, Abdu, to David Wood? He said, silence me. Silence me. Answer me. And he was moving his fingers. Okay, silence me. Who is the Muslim when I call me silence me? Who want to silence me? Like, like a Billy Dancer in the stage, silence me. What is that? This is not a man talk. What silence me? Silence me. Answer me. For 4,000 years, for 4,000 years, not a single rabbi believe and broke the, 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 the oneness of Allah. 4,000 years. Why a Jew, he will break the command when he is instructed clearly in his book, to worship God alone. Why? He forgot the idiot that in his book it says that Muhammad said that the Jews they worship a guy, his name is Uzair. In the top of that, they worship their rabbis and their monks, as the Quran says. But he claimed that for 4,000 years, not a single Jew did that. That was a career ending to him and to his prophet. Do we have any Muslim would like to silence me? Hello? Hello? Any Abdul? Guys, don't forget to download the video I just made challenging this guy, this kid, Hijab. By the way, he's not my level, he's not my standard, but I accept all kinds of potatoes and tomatoes. You know me, this is why I open my Skype. I don't care who are you. I don't care even who's your name. You can be a shake, you can be a potato. 
at the end of the day all of you will be shaken and you will be broken into pieces do you remember the guy in the philippine the shake this guy from the philippines somebody sent me his video this guy he kept saying who is the christian who want to debate us who is the christian want to answer us and nobody supposedly answering him he is a plain he is the macho man who nobody can stop him he is the bulldozer so i made a video for him saying okay i accept to debate you let us do it he ignored it i made a second video he ignored it i made the third video i ignored it. i posted for him in his facebook he ignored it i post text for his wife he ignored it we called him by phone at his home and do you know what he said show me your face show me your face who are you you are not a christian and by the way i debated someone he's an american real american you have an accent this guy he debated real american like it's uh, those people they think if they debated real american that's mean the guy is coming from heaven he's a real american i am not real american that's a lot what was his name what was his name let me search his video <clears throat> hold on so we can just for a laugh <laughs> Uh, I think his name was uh, 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 I forgot his name man somebody remind me what the, what the name of the Filipino guy because you know I smash a lot of names Rashid and the son right Rashid and the son hold on yeah thank you Rashid and the son Show me your face. Why? Show me your face. Give me your name. Chris, huh? don't, you don't want see, to... See, see. You, you, want, you want to be known by people. That's why you want to debate me. I want to be known. And you accuse me of a lot of bad things. G guys, guys, the reason I want to debate this guy because I want to be known. <laughs> Abdul, if you type my name in the internet, you will find that my name appear more than your prophet Muhammad himself. Unbelievable. Me, myself, if I type my name in YouTube, I get scared. I mean, there's tons of thousands of videos. I want to be known. Who are you? Nobody knows you. You yourself, the one who's saying to me, you want to be known, you are the one who nobody knows you. If you are Christian, if you're a good Christian, you will, be, you, do, you will not be like this. You see, guys, if you are a person, if you are a person who spanked them, they say you are not a good Christian. Did you notice? The second you start spanking them, they say to you, you are not a good Christian. Christian Christian people don't do that. But when you are a Christian, they make fun of you. They make mockery of you. The second you start showing them how stupid they are is the same second they say to you, you are no Christian. Let us go. That's it. <clears throat> why, why didn't you, you answer? Me, not, hmm? Why didn't you answer? How can I? But how can I? Look, so, look, 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 look. I have debated an American here. See, an American. You want to, you want to see it? I'm not. I debated a true American. True American. Born American. Huh? Unlike you, you're not American. I, 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 because you have an accent. You have an accent. Okay? Why, why don't you want to? <laughs> you are not a true American. You have an accent. Actually, this is the problem. The problem is they knew I am an Arab. He debated a true American. Well, David Wood is a true American. James White, the one who always defends Islam, is an American. American, yeah. I mean, we debated a real American. You are not a real American. And sorry, we debate only a real American. This is what did that he was doing. Did that he was debating real American only. And then one day he debated an Arab Christian. His name, Dr. Anish Sharush. Sharush, he made him shish kebab. They scheduled two debate. Did that did not show us, show up for the second debate. He debated the only ones, even though they scheduled two. Two topic. Did that he came, he got busted by Sharush. He never show up. Even Sharush, by the way, the second debate, even did that did not apologize for not coming. He was ashamed to do it.
Sharush, he came to the second debate. This is in a, in a, in a place, it's not like over the internet. So they made the fixed at first debate. They did not get busted. Then Sharush, he came to the second debate as a schedule. Sharush was standing. The people are standing there. There's hundreds of people waiting, and the dad never show up because it was a career ending to do that. Any Abdul? Who is a Abdul when I debate someone? He want to be humble and debate someone is not real American. Please. I, 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 because you have an, you have an accent. <laughs> well, okay. Why don't you want to uh, debate you, Christian you, Prince? I, I will debate. Uh, unlike you, you're not American. I, 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 because you have an, you have an accent. Well, okay. Why don't you want to uh, debate you, Christian you, Prince? I, I will debate you. My condition is I want to see your ugly face first. I want to see your name. I want to know your name. We will arrange everything. I debated. I, I will, many, there are at least three times I have experience in Palto. Okay? Okay. You, you give me your, you show me your face. Christian Prince. Give me your face. Christian Prince, give me are you name. getting this CP? We will arrange it. Are you getting this in CP? Palto? We will, I will ask the brothers here from Salam TV to arrange everything. All right, all right. Anyway, <clears throat> potato coward. See a person who want to debate who care about my face. Why you want to know my face? I'm not seeking to be in you know if famous. Many people they like that. For me, I don't care. I don't like this. I'm not working for my glory. You see, the Lord, my Lord, He said, if you give with the right hand, don't let the other hand knows what you what you gave. It's giving me a lot more blessing that nobody knows who I am. What you need is my answer. If you need a name, here we go, Christian Prince. I am a prince by him. What's your business? Why you are focusing in a silly stuff to avoid what is important? Because trying anything, any excuse to run away from debating me. Do we have any Abdul would like to call us? Mayday, mayday. We need the Abdul to do career ending. Mayday, mayday. Who want to do career, career ending? Do we have only one hijab in town who can do career ending? Where is Shabir Ali? Where is Zakir Naik? Where is Ali Dawa? Where is all those potatoes scam making money from this business? The guy, he finished his debate with David Wood in the early morning. He and they are still in New York. Him and Ali Dawa, they made a video, brother sisters. There's 160,000 brothers. They left Islam, brother. Why they left Islam? Not because Islam is not true, but because they have a misunderstanding, brother. It's your duty, brother. We have more than 2 billion Muslims. 2 million, 2, 2 billion Muslims? Yesterday, Hijab was saying they are 1.6 billion. Over two weeks, they became 2 billion. Unbelievable. In two weeks, why? Are you rabbits? Brothers and sisters, all what we need for you, only 500 devoted people to donate for us 100 pounds. 500 x 100, that is 50,000 pounds a month? Why? What do you want to do with it? You need 50 pounds a month for going to the park for two hours every weekend. That's amazing business. I mean, who want to go to work anymore? 50,000 pounds? And we are doing it for the sake of Allah. We don't care for money, brother. We are here serving Allah. Only we need 50,000 pounds. That is like, what, $70,000? I mean, those guys are very humble. What's a good business? It's a great business. What are you talking about? You go to uh, two hours a week to the park. You shout. You say a few words. The Muslim cheer you up. You go back home and you are a hero and you get the money waiting for you. Almost as you are doing dental, my my friend, 
You have no idea what dental is about. The real dental is Muhammad. Muhammad, he broke the teeth of everybody. But by the way, do you know that Muhammad, he lost all his teeth? I do not know how Muhammad was able to recite the Quran. I wish in the time of Muhammad there was a video recording and there is audio recording because Muhammad have no teeth. The hadith report that Muhammad was the, 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 the kuffar when he have a war with them, uh, one of them he throw a rock at his face and he broke all his teeth. So how Muhammad is going to recite, especially the front ones, all of them, gone. How he say how he's going to say Bismillah Rahman? You know, ask your grandfather if you have fake teeth to take it off and let us see what he will talk, what he will say. Ask him to say Bismillah Rahman Rahim. How Muhammad was able to recite the Quran without teeth? And this is in the beginning of Islam. Obviously, it's a miracle. I mean, are you asking how? How? What's wrong with you? What do you mean how? Do you know the song like, I wonder how, I wonder how, you know, I wonder why, I wonder how? I wonder how, I wonder, I wonder why, I wonder how. And I, I forgot the song, you know, like I'm not really... I turn my head up and down, I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around, and all what I can see, a prophet lost his teeth. He cannot say in the name of Allah correctly, so I have to fix it for him. Unbelievable. Why Allah did not break? I mean, Allah, Allah, He chose Muhammad to be a prophet. Why Allah? How Muhammad is going to be able to do his message, to complete his message, to deliver the Quran, speak the Quran, especially the Quran came as a recitation if you have no teeth? Any Muslim? All right. Thank you for those who make donation. May the Lord bless you. But remember, in Christianity, your donation will not take you to heaven. We are not Muslims. We don't believe that we can bribe God, my friend. So I appreciate your support. But nobody can promise you salvation. This is in Islam. In the cult of Islam, brothers and sisters. And he recites for them that those who give donations, they will go to Jannah. This is what Ali Dawa in the video of uh, 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 Hijab he did. Brother, I'm not going to recite for you anything that you will go to heaven because in Christianity you cannot bribe God. Your donation have nothing to do with going to Jannah. We don't believe in Jannah anyway. Your Jannah is like a belly dancer club, night club in Las Vegas for gays and lesbians. No, he did not ask. You can watch the video. I have I have the video there, guys, in the link underneath in the info. Click on it and you can watch the, the, the last video I made. I made two videos actually. I encourage you to watch them both. You will see there are two links, please. Uh, download them, share them around. Now, who is a Muslim when I call us and it challenge us? A brother. You know, one of you asked me, why am why a Muslim he commit the suicide bombing? He said, "Don't you think those people they are really so much devoted to Allah, my friend? They are not devoted to Allah; they are devoted to their penis. None of them care for Allah; they care for their penis. All what they want, if we die, Allah will give us a lot of women for sex." As you see in the front of you on the screen. If this is not the reason, then why about what about Allah? He make it a surprise, the reward in the heaven. And that will make it truly, truly that those people they are committing suicide bombing for the sake of Allah, not for the sake of sex. You know what I mean? I can surprise you with an amazing gift to examine if you really love me. Or not if I say to you if you do that to me I will give that to you that mean you did that because I said to you I will do that to you do we agree and what is that I will give it to you all Islamic reference speak clearly that Islamic heaven and Allah he promised nothing but sex
repeat with me. Muhammad taken an oath, and you know what Muhammad, when he take an oath, he is telling the truth, the same as Muhammad Hijab, brother Muhajab. The second you see a Muslim, I say, I swear by Allah, it's meaning he is absolutely telling the truth. Muhammad, he said, I swear by Allah, who has my soul in his hand, I swear. That is a serious swearing, my friend. It must be true. Okay, you swear by what? That there is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise. To where? To paradise. Okay. But Allah will marry him. 72 wives. Two from the Huris. Look at the division. I mean, like, you know, we have a folder here. Allah, each time a person, a Muslim, he get in the, in the heaven of Allah, Allah, he go to the warehouse. He said to the warehouse, guys, give me two Huris, Give me two. Give me other seventy women to this guy. His name is Abdul Al Mastul. And then look what he said: two from the Huris and seventy from the inheritance from the people of hell. So Allah will go to hellfire, and He will open the warehouse of women there. Women. And those women, they have a special description that they have nice vagina and nice breast. Read with me carefully. I'm not the one saying that. All of whom will have desirable front passages. Me. What about the back? Okay, what if the front is desirable but the back is not desirable? What we will do now? If God is God, why he is describing to us such a description? Any Muslim can tell us? I mean, what's the point of this description here? By the way, uh, the Muslim, they will say to you, this hadith is da'if. Just get ready. Anything anything you say to them, they will say da'if. By the way, even da'if, even da'if is accepted in Islam. You can search right now in YouTube. You will find a video made by Sheikh Hamza explained to the dummy Muslims that da'if hadith, it did not funk. I'm quoting him now. He said it did not, not funk. It passed. My friend, the eighth hadith did not funk, it pass. It what? It pass. And then look what Allah Prophet he says after that, which I find it astonishing and additional proof that Muhammad must be a prophet of God. And he will be, he will have a male member. What? What 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 you just say? He will have a male member. Allah told Muhammad that we will have a male member. I mean, what a what a happy news! Okay, finally now I feel comfortable. Man, imagine we go there and we have no male member. What we will do now? Be honest with me. You are in heaven and you don't have a male member and then all the women are waiting for you. So what do you do? Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. We hear you. You are live. Who is with me? I hear you. I'm all right. All right. What do you want to debate about? You are a Muslim? Yeah. To be honest with you, I cannot debate a Muslim. Very intelligent. You tell me, what do you like me to ask you? You see, because you are very smart and you are very, you know, I mean, scary. Tell me the question and I will repeat the question as it is to you. <laughs> okay. Um, my question to you is, uh, how do you know that Jesus is God? How do you know that Jesus is God? Is that the question you like me to ask you or this is a question you like me to ask myself? I want you to um, answer that question uh, to the best of your knowledge. All right. Well, I will. I will. I will. Um, I will answer you, my friend. So let us go and see how we can answer this question. By the way, you gave me a very hard question. I don't know. Is it okay if I call a friend, or I should do it by myself? Well, I mean, if you can do it yourself, that would be very helpful. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. You know. All right, okay. my friend. Do you believe in the Quran? <clears throat> Um, I've had my doubts. Oh, okay. So you are a Muslim, but so so. 
Yeah, exactly. All right, that's wonderful. I encourage you to have more, more, more of so so. We go in the Quran. Okay, why right? you finish up? If we go in the Quran, the Quran yeah. says the following. Mm -hmm. Do you speak Arabic? No. Oh, that's okay. Then we will read the translation. Yeah. Chapter four, verse number one seventy one. Okay. Okay. If we go there, we will find the following. The Quran confirm yeah. that Jesus the Christ is the son of a woman. Her name is Mary. You agree with that? Yes, I do. And then he is Allah messenger. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. And then he says, and he is his word. Do you agree with that? Um. What do you mean he is his word? Uh, don't ask me. The Quran says that. The Quran says, and Jesus, Jesus is the son of Mary, and he is a messenger, and he is his word, which means the word of Allah. Do you agree with that? Can you get the narration up, please? Well, his his word. You can go. You can go up right now and see the narration. This is this is Quran. What I will do for you. I mean, now you want to read the interpretation. You mean? Yes. Well, the the word of Allah is the word of Allah. Allah, He speak words. He say words. You know. So he is the word of Allah. As simple as that. Now, and then he continues saying, which he bestowed on Mary. So this word, mm -hmm. this word is coming from where? It's coming from heaven. Okay. Okay. So we agree, me and you, that he is his word, and as long as he is his word, so he's coming from heaven on Mary, oh. and spirit yep. proceeding from him. Spirit, Jesus Christ, is a spirit proceeding from him. That's true. Okay. Yeah. So you agree with that? I do. All right. So let us, me, me and you, organize things together. Focus on you. Please. Okay. Jesus is focus. the messenger. All right. I will, I will, yeah. I will do this. I'm going, mm -hmm. I'm going to copy the point one by one, the one we agree upon. Me and you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Jesus is the messenger of Allah. I'm going to copy that, and I will paste it on the screen, so we can yeah. count, count with the things we agree upon. Okay. All right. So he is first the messenger of Allah. Okay. Yeah. Second, he is he is his word. He is his word. Bestowed yeah. Mary, In, which means he is yeah. coming. He is coming from heaven. Yeah. Okay. So you agree on that? That's wonderful. That's, I feel like making a logical leap there. Okay. Well, we are going me and you together to see yeah. what is logical and what we agree upon first before we see our differences. Correct. That's that's okay. that's a better yeah. way, right? And then it says, yeah. and he is a spirit proceeding from him. All right. Okay. Okay. So now I didn't I didn't know it, I didn't know it said that. It says in the in the verse in the front of us, chapter four, verse one seventy one. Yeah. Okay. So now okay. those those are three things. And by the way, you are welcome to call me anytime. Sound like you are a nice gentleman, and you are not a rude person, and I like that. So okay. let us let us me and you. Uh, uh, what I can call you, Muhammad? What is your name? Um, you could call me Adam. Adam. Okay, Adam. So the 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 Quran confirm in the front of us three things, as you see, that Jesus mm -hmm. first, he is a messenger of God, which means he's a man. Yes. Then he is the word of God. Now you agree with me that the word of God is coming from heaven, right? Well, that's where God is. So yes. Yes, that means Jesus is the word of God coming from heaven. So Jesus is not from this earth. In the Bible, Jesus said, "My kingdom is not in this earth. I am from above," and that confirmed hmm. what Jesus said that he's from above. So Jesus, before he became a man, what he was, he was a word. Yeah. And that word became a man. His name is Jesus. Okay, we agree. Okay, so Jesus, who was the word of God in heaven, he came to earth as a man, and then that word it says here that he is in the same time he is a spirit proceeding from him, which means from Allah. Yeah, okay. okay. Now you speak English very well, I guess, better than me. Proceeding, do you see the I in G? Yes, okay. Proceeding from when I coming say, from. okay, when I say proceeding using the I in G, it's mean this is something continues, right. Yes, if it's proceeding, yeah, yeah, okay. it's always that's continuing. mean that's mean always the spirit of Jesus is proceeding from Allah spirit. Hmm. And now you tell me if Jesus is God or not. How Jesus is coming from above, how Jesus is the word of God, how Jesus is spirit yep. proceeding from God, yet he's not God. How that can be possible? That's a good point you make, to be honest with you. Um, At the same time, my friend. 
Adam. Same time. Yeah. You see, the second we say that he was a word in heaven, that means Jesus is exist before he was created as a man. That's true. Well, that's wonderful. Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. This is in total agreement with the Bible when Jesus he said, before Abraham, I am, which means my existence has nothing to do with my birth. Yeah, but... Here it, here it confirmed <laughs> that. Adam, it, it, don't you see it's confirming that? He was a word before he became a man. But the thing is that you don't even believe in the Quran, do you? Yeah? My, my friend, you see, I'm showing you from the Quran because you believe in the Quran, not me. Oh, you, your, your position is that the Quran is full of no, logical. I'm trying, I'm trying to show you how you, you see when I speak to somebody, believe, yeah. believe in yoga. I have to talk to him mm. in the language of the yoga, which he understand. When I speak to yeah. somebody is a Hindu, I have to speak to him based on what he believes. Everybody, every one of us have a background. If I go right now and sit with a farmer, what he knew, he knew yeah. how, how to dig in the ground, put a tree, he knew better than me than that. So I have to talk to him based on what he knew, based on what he believed in, not based on my belief or my philosophy. So I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you, and you see now we, we, have, a, we have a common ground in this point yeah. now that you and me ac accept. And now we have a better way and to understand how Jesus can be God. If the Quran yeah. confirmed that he was the word of God before he came to earth, then now you need to ask yourself the question how he was in heaven and the quran by the way it says his name what do you remember the verse when the, the angel he came to mary and he said to her I, I i am here to 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 announce to you the gift of holy son his name is isa mm. so he have a name as isa before even he was born mm. so isa no. was isa was in heaven as a word of god but he is not a man yet mm. in chapter 19 verse 19 it says I am here to announce to you the gift of a holy son, which means Jesus was a holy in heaven. Now, if I ask you, if I say to you, the one who made my mother, Brettnet, is my father, do you agree with that? Can you repeat that? If I say to you, the man who made my mother, Brettnet, is my father, do you agree with that? No. What do you mean, no? The one who. The one who slept with my mother or your mother with my respect to her he is the one okay. who made her he made her breath yeah. right okay yeah, yeah, yeah okay who is the one who made mary breath well um according to all traditions it's um it's the spirit of god isn't it no it's god okay a spirit cannot create there's nothing nobody can create save allah correct yeah okay yeah, yeah. so who is the one who made mary breath Allah. Yeah, well, okay. Be, so yeah, now, yeah. if we ask Christians, he they say to you, Jesus is a son of God. Why? Yeah. Because who is the father of Jesus? Based on on our logic, is God. See. So now we confirm. Yeah. If we ask you now, as a Muslim, why mm. Jesus only is the only person who is born of a woman, but he don't have a father? You can't explain that it, to me. It is very significant. You are correct. All right. So what what, what the point then? Obviously, there is a, God. Don't do things for no reason. There's a reason. What is the reason? Obviously, he's trying to show us something. Otherwise, uh, Jesus should be the same. Why Muhammad have have a mother and father? Why Moses have a father and mother? Why Abraham? He have all of them. Uh, Abraham is is a great great man in in the in the history of Christianity, even in Islam. So why all of them they have normal parents, and after generation and generation, only one person in the whole universe is born. But yet he don't have a father. What the point? Mm, this is obviously it's a very unique occurrence. Especially, my friend, if I if I say now to you, my mother she gave birth to me, but she was she was a virgin. I mean, there's no proof or disapproved, correct? I mean, there's no point of this uh, miracle. Yes, that's true. Because anyone can claim your mother can claim same. My mother she can claim the same, and this would be funny. So, what the point of saying that Mary she have no man? Making such an incredible miracle when nobody can prove it. The purpose of miracles is to make people believe. Is that correct? Yes. To show the power of God. Okay, but this is a miracle nobody can see, nobody can witness. Yeah. It is something behind doors. There's no no need for it. Unless, okay. unless there is something behind that idea that this person is not from this earth and he is the son of no man. Hmm. And that's why. And that's why Jesus is God. Okay. What do, okay. You, what do you think? It's a lot to take in, to be honest with you. Um, 
I'm I'm following your logic, however. So because um, yeah, I'm I'm open minded. So um, uh, although I've been raised, you know, it's, it's obviously not in concrete. You know, um, I'm, I've got my own question, and there was one of my questions as to why you believe Jesus to be God. Um, to be honest with you, um, I, I follow your logic. Well, my friend, there's not, not only it's about logic, you see, if we say just a logic, then, uh, 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 you know, we, we need the, uh, I don't know how to explain it to you. You see, w when we say there's God, he made a tree, hmm. then why he made a tree? The tree is not made just to be there. The tree is made for a reason. So if, yeah. you, if, you, if, you, if you look at the complex of the earth, how it is, you will see everything complete each other, right? Yeah, the insects are there for a reason. The snake is there I for mean, a reason. The cats, mm -hmm. the rats, the dogs, every every person, every human, every insect, every creature is exists for a reason. Now, mm -hmm. the existence of Jesus in such a situation, shouldn't we ask ourselves what is the reason? Yeah, I do ask my I do ask myself that question. So yeah, that's wonderful. Why why the Jesus in the Quran is called holy? The Muslim they say to us, how God can be born of a woman, which means he's you know she gave birth to him from her private part, and they think this is an insult. You see, God is always holy. Even the Quran in chapter nineteen, verse nineteen, it says that I am here to announce to thee the the the, the Holy Son. So Jesus, even he's born of a woman from her private part. Even the Quran confirmed that he's holy. So the Muslim here they have hypocrisy. When they want, they remember that Jesus is a person who is born of a you know women private part. When they when they mm -hmm. want, they ignore and they forget that Jesus is holy. How Jesus is just a prophet like everybody, but he never commits sin. How Jesus is a prophet like everybody, but he is coming from heaven, and now he is going back to heaven. He is in heaven right now, correct? That's what the Muslims say. According to the word, uh, you are correct. Yeah. So why why Jesus is in the heaven? Why did Muhammad? The Muslim they say mm -hmm. Muhammad is the greatest prophet. Do you think the greatest man to Allah, he will be in the grave and the one who is this great, he will be next to Allah right now? Well, if I think of it from my perspective, if I have someone who is very dear to me, um, I would want them with my son. See, so if, if Muhammad is the greatest, he should be now with Allah, not in the grave. Mm. Right? Now, Jesus, mm. the person who is a living person for thousands of years, is that a human to live for thousands and thousands of years until judgment day? Is that a human? No, obviously. no, no. Obviously, it's not. So even the Quran, mm. in every step, every word, every line, confirmed to us that Jesus is miraculous person. Even even the Quran confirmed when Jesus he was born, he spoke in the cradle. Do you agree with the Quran? Say say that last word again. Jesus he spoke in the cradle. Oh yes, yes, that's okay. correct. Muhammad he waited for forty years to receive inspiration of Allah, and he did not even talk to him. He sent him a guy. His name is Jibril. Is that correct? And he also received it from Angel Gabriel. All right. So why Jesus, in the first day of his life, he spoke as a prophet and took Muhammad 40 years to be a prophet? Shouldn't we ask ourselves why Jesus did not wait for Jibreel to teach him? Even the Hadith confirm that Allah, he made a plastic surgery for Muhammad and he installed a dish of wisdom and dish of faith in his chest. Mm. And I think you know the story, right? Yeah. Okay. Why Allah did not need to do plastic surgery for Isa to install a dish of faith and dish of wisdom? Why Isa is born with knowledge? Do you know why? Well, because he's special. No, because simply, my friend, he is the word of God. So you're telling me the word became flesh? My friend, yes. He is the word of God. This is why the word of God is the knowledge. He do not need a knowledge. So, is, so let me just follow your theology. Yeah? So you're saying basically, because he is the word and he became flesh, therefore, because God is perfect, Jesus never sinned in his life. This is what the Bible says, but I'm showing it to you based on the Quran, trying to make it close to your mind, based on your mm. understanding, no, based on your belief. You know, so Jesus, why Jesus did not wait for Jibreel to learn? question that I've always had here. So, so again, um, say again, please. Can I, I just want to raise a question? I've really had this in my mind, yeah. All right. Um, it is the essentially this is one thing that's gotten me so so. Um, well, if God has, if Allah, okay, has said that He has sent down all 
all virgins, yeah? So he sent down the Torah, he sent down the Injil, mm -hmm. and then he sent down the Quran. Um, my question is, I mean, why did he wait um, so long uh, to tell people that Christianity is false? That's a good question. This is, that's a good question, my friend. But not only that. You see, even the Quran cannot be considered as a book to tell us the Christians or Christianity is false. Why? Because read with me carefully, my friend. If we go mm. in the Quran, you will find the following. Muhammad, in the mm. beginning of his life, he said this. when In the beginning of his, uh, let us say, uh, prophethood, he claimed to be a prophet. Yeah. He said the following. That those who they are Jews and those who they are Christian and those who they are Sabian, they have nothing mm. to worry about and they will go to heaven. Chapter 2, verse yeah. number 62. Yeah. Okay. That's true. That. Okay. Yeah. How, how we say that Christianity is false and then he, in his time, he's promising the Christians and the Jews and the Sabians to go to heaven. The thing is he's promising everyone heaven. Absolutely. And not only that, he's promising the Sabian who worship stars. So you're making him seem as though he was just trying to recruit. He was trying to make himself accepted in, for everybody, like Obama during the election, like in America, you know, uh, uh, the, uh, the, when, when people, they speak to atheists, he plays as an atheist. When, when, the, mm. when the one who want to support him is a gay, he say, I have no problem with gay. When he speak to Christian, he say to them, I love the Bible. When he speak to Muslims, he say to them, the Prophet Muhammad was amazing. So they have many colors. They have many, many, uh, you know, forms because they are deceivers. <laughs> If Muhammad mm. is a decent man, Muhammad is a decent prophet, and he believes in, 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 in what you just said, that the Christians are corrupt, then how he promised the Christians? Who, who are yeah, they? Right. Muhammad, yeah, in Muhammad in this time, Muhammad in this time, he's talking to people who they are around him, not people who they are passed away. Mm. He said the Christians, the Jews, and the Sabian. Mm. All they yeah, have nothing said, to worry about, yeah. they go. But look what happened. When Muhammad, he gave up, that the Jews will not accept him, the Christians are not accepting him. Then he starts focusing on killing the Jews and the Christian, not the Sabian. So, if in history, yeah, because you seem like a very knowledgeable man, to be honest with you, in history, um, did many Christians accept Islam? Well, how don't you see me? How much I'm accepting Islam? No, of course you have not. So, or, until now, my friend. <laughs> until now, my friend. Until now, after the occupation of Islam to the Middle East, there is about between 10 to 15 percent of those countries are Christians, which means they are resisting badly after all the humiliation, paying jizya, forcing them, you know. Until mm. now, there is between 10 to 15 percent are Christians, and that is telling you how much they will not they reject this now. And now, for sure, during during the occupation, there's people who they are going to be weak. Like, imagine if ISIS came to this town, your town or my town, and say, yeah. Everybody, everybody have to be like us. Who dare to say no? Nobody, right? Mm. You agree? Yeah. Nobody. They will kill yeah. you. They will slaughter you with no mercy. This is what Muhammad yeah. is. Muhammad is ISIS. And Muhammad, he gave him an option. In order to live and stay as a Christian, no problem. Pay jizya. So people, they prefer, yes. they prefer to be the jizya, but not to convert. So what you're saying is that you believe that ISIS follows the sunnah of the prophet? My friend, ask yourself a question. You sound like a very intelligent man. Name for mm -hmm. me one thing ISIS did Muhammad did not do. Just one. To be, to be honest with you, um, I see a lot of similarities, but um, obviously it was a different time. My friend, my friend. You see, when ISIS, he slaughtered a person, he caught the Quran. When he killed mm -hmm. a person, he caught the Hadith. They are truly, truly true Muslims. That's, that's a valid point you make. You see, in, in order for ISIS person, you see, I, th those who join ISIS, they are not, uh, you know, they're they, not they, they call, they, they, they call them brainwashed. They call them brainwashed. But the fact it is that they believe in what Muhammad did. This is the truth. Nobody want to say the yeah, truth. Muhammad, yeah, that's true, that. Muhammad, he killed. Muhammad, he kidnapped. Muhammad, he steal. Muhammad, he attacked caravan. Muhammad, he took women. Muhammad, he took children as slaves. Muhammad, he forced to pay jizya. Muhammad, he if forced in slavery. So. What what Muhammad he cut hands, Muhammad he put nails in the eyes of the people, Muhammad he crucified people, Muhammad he slaughter people, Muhammad he rape women. Name for me one thing Muhammad did, ISIS is not doing. They are just actually ISIS are very nice compared to Muhammad. There's many ugly things Muhammad did, ISIS did not do. You know, we cannot compare. Actually, there, there was a video made by a secular Muslim, they called him moderate Muslim. He was trying that to prove that ISIS are not true Muslim. Do you know how he did it? I don't know if you saw the video. 
he was no. saying that when ISIS they entered a town in Syria, the, mm -hmm. town, the town was a Catholic town, Christian Catholic. Okay. He was showing a video of ISIS meeting with those Catholic in a church, taking them as a slaves, and saying to them, "You have one of two choices. The prophet he taught us: either you pay the jizya, or we will kill you all." He said mm. that the moderate Muslim saying, "If ISIS was a true Muslim, should not accept." To make them pay the jizya and he explained no. why he said because in that church those catholic they have a statues of mary and based on that those are not considered to be part of the jizya payment so the moderate muslim saying that ISIS are not a true muslim because they did not slaughter everyone in that church that's quite silly isn't it see but so but this is how they prove that ISIS are not muslim when they speak in arabic but when we speak in english the story is different i think what's happened is everyone's um in this modern day and age, we've all kind of we kind of tailored the religion to our to our own needs. Yeah? Because we don't obviously as Muslims, we're not we're not we're not trying to be like that. But we're trying to lead a good example, you see. So my friend, how you how you can be the good example of anything if your prophet is the worst example of mankind? With my respect to you, I'm not trying to insult you insult you, but I'm saying to you what I believe. You're not insulting me. Yeah. So how we how you if I am if I am a Muslim and you are a Muslim how we can how Islam can be the best example for us if the Prophet himself is a rapist? You well, know, imagine well, if the best example for us he married children. Do you, do you like to marry children, uh, Adam? Do you like to marry children? No. Do you like to have a, a wife? She is six years old. Like, okay, what is the best example on that? What Muhammad is teaching us when he is fifty-four years old, marrying a child? She is six years old. He's not really teaching us anything, to be honest with you. No, no, he's teaching us. No, he's teaching us. He's teaching us faith. He's teaching us to be perverted people. He's teaching us not to be right. He's teaching us something evil. This is evil, my friend. When a man is age of 54, he takes to bed a child. She don't even know what sex means. Yeah, obviously, she's innocent, yeah? So, uh, imagine, imagine. You know, you know uh, Adam, I want you to do this. And remember, when I say things, I don't mean to insult. Please, don't, don't no, think I'm insulting you. Okay, imagine a guy at the age of 54 come to ask for your sister and she is six years old. What you would do to ask, him? I, um, I may kill him. So how do you accept Muhammad to be a prophet? <sighs> My friend, Adam, I invite you right now to denounce Islam, to say Islam cannot be, cannot be from God. It's obvious. I invite you right now, and there's and, and you know, don't be uh, you should not be ashamed to say so because this is will make you really a better person. You just say it, you don't you, you will kill the guy who will take you would do that to your sister, God forbid. Yeah. So of course, how you can follow a man, he do he he might do that to your sister if he was exist today. Well, you know, you know what the you know what the rebuttal is though, you know. So you know what you know. The rebuttal, obviously, by most uh, by uh, by us, is that um, we don't. Um, I feel bad even saying it, you know, because um, I've just, you know, I've just followed what I've been told. Yeah, yeah my friend, but you, know, you, but you have a brain. You are a person. You are a human. You see, God, He gave us a gift. It's called a brain. We are not insect. You see, insect, they are programmed. We are not programmed. No. So my, we, we have to make decision. Life is about decision. You, you you make a decision who is going to be your wife you make a decision who is going to be your god you make the decision what you will eat today you make the decision who's going to be your friend life all let's of it is about decision. decision sorry let's say if i make the wrong decision yeah right yeah. let's say i make the wrong decision in life uh, on to which path to follow does that mean i'm punishable for taking the wrong choice My the friend, wrong path? based based on because let me tell you why you will be punishable yes because as long we are not programmed that's mean we have a free will and as long as yeah, God, God gave us a gave us a gift, it's called the brain. So, but what if my brain has led me to believe something that's contrary to the truth? Well, uh, uh, let, let me explain to you. You yeah. see, always, yeah. always, always, a human being can blame something of something happened to him. As an example, I can say now, right now, okay, I saw a woman wearing short skirt, and this is why I raped her. This is my re this is my reason. Okay, she tempted mm. me. She tempted mm. me. What I can do, but this is false. 
because you know it's wrong. Yeah. God yeah. put inside you, he put inside you what is enough for you to make the right decision. Now, if what about if somebody is crazy or somebody, you know, he's born with the very low IQ, this is different because God is about justice. Yes. God judge you based in what is making you qualified to make a decision if you are not qualified to make a decision god will 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 will, will, will deal with you as a child this i what, see this is what the bible teach so like even like in the bible we have where if you are a person who never heard about jesus let us say i am a person who live in the jungle in the middle of nowhere and i never saw jesus i never heard of jesus i don't even speak a language of anyone of a human being there so what is the thing in christianity this person he will be judged by what he knew only mm. God installed in us when we are we are born, not a program, but He installed in us to 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 have the ability to know what is right, what's wrong. Like when you see blood, you get disgusted. You do not well, need you do not need an education to know that killing is wrong and rape is, is wrong. You, you, obviously, it's evil. So, uh, uh, God will judge you based on what you know. Now, you as a Muslim, me yeah. as a Christian, we spoke to the, together already, and you yeah. had the opportunity. For somebody who is a Christian to clear things out to you, so now you are not yeah. a fixed excuse to say, "Oh, nobody told me." That's true. So there is no no way to say. Uh, here we you, go. We are talking you are, to you for the last half hour or more, and you agree with me in many many points. So based based on the agreement, you know, we agree. We share the ground in many things together. So shouldn't we make a decision based on what we got? If you got the idea that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God, he do evil stuff. It's obvious everything he stands for is false. Imagine I want to speak to you about morality, but I don't have it. I give you a speech about morality, but me myself, I don't have it. The one who don't have it, he cannot give it. Hmm. In order hmm. for me, in order for me to speak to you about holiness, I have to be holy myself. Yes. In order to speak to you, give you a lecture about honor, I have to be a person of honor. Muhammad is not a person of honor. Do you know the story of Muhammad going to his own son and he flirted with his wife? No, I don't. Muhammad, he went to his own son and the husband was not there. Hmm. What Muhammad he did? According to the Muslim books, Muhammad, he flirted with the women and he said to her, praise be to Allah. The one who made my heart flip for you. Okay. Imagine, and again, I'm not saying the example to insult you, my friend. I'm just, I will make it about myself so you don't get offended. Imagine, imagine my dad come to my house while yes. I am not there and then he flirted with my wife. Hmm. What kind of a father this father is? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Muhammad to be a person who want to teach me about God shouldn't he first ask himself how to teach himself a small good manner that if you go to your son house you should not do this not only a son let us say let us say I am a person who claim to be a Christian then I go to your house and I flirt with your wife with my respect to her what kind of a Christian I am C correct yeah. so so now we have a guy who claimed to be a prophet not someone he claimed just to be a Muslim he claimed that he is the prophet if you go right yeah. now and read the interpretation of chapter 33, verse number 37, I will give you some time, you know, you go and search by yourself. You will see this is exactly what happened with Muhammad. And even the Muslims, uh, they explain why Muhammad, he was like that. So one of the explanations they say that Allah, he gave Muhammad, gave the prophet 18 privilege. 18, yes. pri 18 privilege. One of, I them, can see that. One, of, one of them is if he like a woman, her husband ha must divorce her. So he can have her. <laughs> what kind of a prophet this prophet is? Did, did you ever use uh, watch a movie for the Viking? <laughs> yeah, Muhammad I think I've a, seen it. Muhammad is a Viking. He like your wife. He is stronger than you. He take her. Your wife is is just a woman. He take her from you because he's stronger. You are not strong. He can kill you and he can take her. So what do you mean? And how they how what kind of what kind of scholars they say that the prophet he have such a privilege that if he saw a wife of somebody here, husband must be divorce her, and they meant by that many stories, including the story of Zaid in chapter 33, verse number 37. Hmm. So how Muhammad can be a prophet? 
Well, a prophet is just a man. Is that not correct? It doesn't matter, my friend. A man, but you, you see how you can be a prophet, but you are, but but you are a source. Of, but you are a source. Of, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you, my friend Adam. Let us, because you mentioned the word of prophet. Okay, I want to give you a small challenge, friendly challenge. Can you give yes. me one prophecy so we can call him prophet? When we say somebody is a prophet, right? Uh, that means what he prophesy. Yeah. Okay. What is the prophecy of Muhammad? I mean, we don't have a book of revelation. No, no, no. You see, the Quran spoke of a prophecy, a prof prophecy. Muhammad, he said, as an example, we spoke about this even yesterday, that Muhammad he claimed that judgment day is very near and the moon split. All right. Well, if the moon split, then everyone would have seen it. Yeah. Not only that, my friend. Not only that. You see, and actually, you you made a very a very good point. If you go in history during the time when the the Messiah was crucified, you will see even Chinese they mention that there was a darkness in the sky. There's Roman, there's a Greek historian report that there was a darkness in the sky. So like it's not a, a, a local thing happened; it was a global thing. So what when when what when Jesus was crucified according to the Bible, the the, the sky the sky went in darkness. So. Uh, 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 it was a global thing. Many they witness that there's mm. a great event happened. Okay. Now, mm. when Muhammad he say, "Iqtarabat al saatu wa shaq al qamar" in chapter fifty-four, verse number one. Mm. And then the Muslim they post for us a picture from NASA about a valley in the moon, and they say, "See, this is a crack in the moon. This is not yeah. a crack. This is a valley." And we we have we no. have we have big. If this is a crack, well, we we have the biggest crack in the world, which is called the Gra the Grand Canyon. <laughs> huh. You know, huh. so this is not yeah. the moon is split. When we say the moon is split, it's mean the moon became two pieces. Do I agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we agree. Okay, so there is no way the moon is split because that will destroy the moon immediately. Secondly, what happened? Allah He put it together again. <laughs> well, if, well, the, if the moon if is God split, is powerful, if God is all powerful, He can surely do that. Is God? Is, if God is what? If God is all powerful, then he can no, no, no. yeah. But you see, the Quran does not report that Allah he put it together. Muhammad he said the opposite, he says the moon is split and the judgment day is near, which means this is a sign that the judgment day they started already. Hmm. Why? Because the moon is split. He did not say, Okay, and Allah he put it together. What happened that Muhammad he saw the eclipse and he copied a poetry of a man, his name is Umar al Qais. Uh, and this man he was making a poet about a woman he liked, a woman he loved. What he said that that when he saw her, he, he you see the Arab they like white women. Yeah, the Arab because they live in the desert. The sun is strong. Yeah, yeah. So so he's he, he's making a point about his pretty girlfriend, uh -huh. or let's say lover. So when he saw her, he said the judgment day uh, is near, uh, and the moon split ascender. He was talking about his girlfriend. He was not talking about the moon. <laughs> I will show you the point in the front of you in the screen, and you can take a snapshot from the screen, and you can show anyone. That is Sa'a wa Shaq al Qamar an Ghazali in Sada Qalbi wa Nafar Ahwar an Qad Harto fi Aswaf Aswafihi Naas al Tarfi bi Ainihi Hawar Mar Yom al Eid fi Zinatihi Faramani Fataata Fa Aqar. You see all the lines, guys, in the in the screen. All those lines. Do you see it, my friend Adam? Um, I can't access the video okay. at the moment, but I'm all those back. lines, all those lines in the screen, I'm showing, I'm showing the point. All those yeah. lines, Muhammad, he took it and he put it in the Quran as it is from this poetry. Mm. You know, here you see actually not not this one, the one underneath. Faramani This is a verse in the Quran. Mm. You know, uh, Muhammad is nothing but a thief. He took it, he put it in the Quran, and he claimed that this is about the moon split. But so what you're saying, what you're telling me is he's he's extracted poetry from elsewhere and put yes, it into yes, the Yes, 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 yes. Like now, I like now I uh, uh, you see there is people they 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 claim that they are writing books, but the fact they are copy paste from others, you know. Mm -hmm. So the hour the hour of the judgment day is night and the moon split a uh, 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 cleft ascender. Well, this is something Muhammad he said 1400 years ago. And here it says in Arabic, that is sa. It's like in Arabic, then that it's like almost, almost there to the point it's like here, it's here. This is why he's here in the translation says, the hour 
of the judgment is nigh. What nigh mean? I, I, English is not my my first uh, language. What this word means? You know, N I what nigh N I G H N I G H yeah is nigh is near yeah. What does that mean? It means it's near. It's very near, right? Very very close. Yeah. Okay. So, but yeah. this is something he said fourteen hundred years ago. And he claimed that it is a sign of the judgment day that the moon is split asunder. This is a false prophecy. Yeah. Judgment day never happened. And the moon is not split. And the moon is still there. So what happened? Allah, he changed his mind. He gave a sign of the judgment day and he's changed his mind. He went back to sleep. Hmm. It's like saying, okay, the barbecue started and the fire is on. And then after 1400 years, we come and we find that the fire is off. Yeah. Everything in the Quran does not make sense. Now I want to give you I will give you opportunity. Please. To to kill any doubt left in your head. What make you still think that Islam is a, is religion coming from God? Somehow, let us say there's something still in your head making you believe somehow that there is something truth in Islam. Like it, maybe maybe the scientific miracle in the Quran as the Muslim claim, do you believe in those things? Um, I've um, to be honest with you, I've never seen, uh, I've, I've, I've tried reading them, but I've not been able to find them, right? They are not exist, it's a lie. So, what is holding you until now for uh, to, to say I'm a Muslim? Um, many things, you know, um, family. Ooh, uh, yeah. You see, my family, yeah. my family will not make me start, you know, I have to be at least, you know, uh, uh my friend Adam, if I follow. A goat, obviously, the goat is smarter than me. Do I agree? Yeah, because you're following it. Okay, so because otherwise, if you are you are a smarter, why you follow a goat? So, if my family, with my respect, your family, following a goat, why you want to follow the goat like them? It's just to keep them, just so they don't become upset. Well, make them upset, and then they need themselves. They will wake up, and they will leave the goat. Somebody, somebody have to clean the garbage in the it's... house. You know. Every house, me, my house, and your house have a garbage. If nobody want to throw the garbage out, the garbage will stay there. What if somebody in the house he liked the garbage? What we would do? We keep it? No, we are going to make him upset. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I invite you right now to denounce Islam, to reject Islam, and if you have a question for me about Christianity more, I will be happy to answer you, my friend. I will be happy to hear from a smart person like you. Who is born of a Muslim family to accept that Muhammad no way can be a prophet and that it will be the good start for you to be a new person and then we can search maybe the Messiah is a true maybe he's not you know instead you have to make decisions but you don't you don't you don't you just admit it and you just agree that Muhammad can't be a prophet you did not say it clearly but you did say that you said that already so why you don't say it don't, why you don't say okay there is no way Muhammad is a prophet <laughs> Um, because obviously, when you believe something for so long, you can't just immediately change that belief, can you? Let me ask you a question Did you hear about the story of Abraham and the Quran? Um, story of Abraham. Wait, oh, yes, yes, of course. Okay, so what are you talking about? The one with his son, with one what are you talking about? Abraham and his son. Yeah, but, oh my but, God. How, but how Abraham became a Muslim? All oh, right, is Abraham a Muslim? Yeah. Yeah. How he became a Muslim? Do you know? I didn't know Abraham was a Muslim. It is the most funny, stupid stories ever you can imagine. I after Abraham. It's the most funny, stupid story you can imagine. Chapter six, we can go. I will read. We can read it from verse number seventy-six, verse seventy-eight, seventy-nine, etc. You will see that it says, uh, "Abraham." Allah is, is reciting for us the story of Abraham how Abraham became a Muslim look how this funny story child is a story it says so also when we show Abraham the power and the laws how he showed him read this when when the night covered him who Abraham he saw a star he said this is my Allah but when he saw it is set he said I love not those who said <laughs> What do you hmm. think? What do you think? 
Do you really believe in such a stupid story? Why, Abraham, he never saw the star set before? Abraham now is a man. What do you mean he saw the star and then he saw the sun and he noticed that the star set? First of all, the star never set. The star is there. Correct? Mm -hmm. It is the earth is moving around itself and the star is not disappearing. At least from its place. It is, it, it is there. When we say the sun set, this is not true. We can accept that as a figure of speech. But the fact there's no sunset, correct? Mm. Okay. But here Allah is giving us the reason why Abraham, he changed his religion from worshipping the star. Why? Because the sunset. Okay. Then second day, or maybe after a few years, when he saw the moon rising in splendor, he said, this is my Lord. Look how stupid this answer here. Aren't you the one who just said that because, mm -hmm. because the star set, he rejected the star? Okay. Okay. Are you saying to me he never he never saw the moon before? That's what I was thinking. So wh what what does that mean? The moon never set in the time of Abraham, and suddenly it set. <laughs> the moon is was always there. <laughs> so mm. when he saw the moon rising in splendor, he said, "This is my Lord." But when the moon set, he said, "I don't like unless unless Allah guide me, my Lord guide me, I shall surely uh, among those who go astray." And then mm. look at this, the madness. When he saw the sun rising in splendor, he said, this is my Lord, this is Akbar. You see here they say the word Akritus, it doesn't say that, it says Akbar. Akbar was the yeah. name of the God, which is the God of the sun. This is why the Muslims, they say Allahu Akbar, which means God of the moon and God of the sun are united. Tawheed, one God. One. The God of the sun and the God of the, the God of the sun is Allah the God of the moon the God the, sorry the God of the moon is Allah the God of the Sun is Akbar so when Abraham he saw the Sun rising he said this is my God this is Akbar okay, okay question okay um, I follow I follow what you're saying but then um, to take it a step back and then to look at the Old Testament and then why is it that the believers in the Old Testament don't necessarily believe in the Bible what do you mean? What what so do you mean? Uh, what was Jesus? Say again. So Jesus was a Jew, yeah. Jesus was a Jew, and there's a, there was Jews. There were there are still Jews today who don't believe in Jesus. My friend, my friend, there is a Christians today they don't believe in Christ. They are they call themselves Christians. They are false. But in the same time, yeah, but, in the same time, let's oh, hold on. Did, did you ask my question? Let me answer, my friend. Okay, we can answer who, who, it, said, who said that Jews did not believe in Jesus? All the apostles of Jesus are Jews. All of them. The one, the one, yeah. you see, I am not a Jew, I am an Arab, and the one who brought Christianity to me, he was a Jew. So, how we say that Jews did not believe? Actually, the majority of the Jews are already Christians. Because after 2,000 years of Christ, how many Jews we have in the world? 13, 14 million? Is that possible? Hmm. Where, where, where they go? Because they are gone through Christianity. There's a lot of Jews, origin Jews, who they became Christians. So it is the opposite, not what you think. The majority of the Jews already, they are Christians, and the minority of the Jews, they are still Jews. However, today, today there's people who they are atheists. Is that to prove that Jesus is false? No, it doesn't prove it. There is a proof. There is people who they are communists. There is people who they are gays. There is people who they are lesbian. There are people, you know, freedom people. Freedom bring a lot of things, my friend. Freedom. In order to know who is who is who who, give a freedom. If you force everybody to wear hijab, then we do not know really how many of them they care to wear hijab as a, as something willingly, because we force yeah. everybody. Same as in Saudi Arabia, they force everybody to pray. But we do not. There is no way in Saudi Arabia the whole country is a believer. Nobody is a is a gay or lesbian or an atheist or etc. So, having Jews who they are still Jews, that will not change anything about who is Jesus. Let us say, for the sake of argument, Jesus only yeah. only twelve people they follow him only until now. Let us say until now only twelve people follow him. That will not change anything. Since when? You see, so yeah, yeah, be yeah, because truth, since when the number, my friend, since when the number will make a difference about the truth? Because uh, usually it is the opposite. The, the, the deceiving thing okay. is, is, is more popular. Like now, be honest with me. If I say to you, we want to go and help um, an older people who they cannot, 
uh, clean their houses let us go and help them and, I, and someone else he said to you we have a party in the bar we have a free drink we have uh, girls are coming and it's which one is more attractive well the second one uh, see so here we go which one but it's obvious which one is the true one the one we should do as a human but always always deceiving things is more attractive and here you will notice with me i don't know if you saw the hadith i was showing you that your prophet he said that when you go to heaven allah will make your penis will never sleep <laughs> isn't it the same as the guy who said to me that go to the bar which is the devil over going to help somebody who need help do you see a hadith in the front of you on the screen my friend i don't but i'm following him okay it says muhammad taking an oath saying there is no one whom allah admit to paradise but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Huris and 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell, all of whom have desirable front passages, which means Muhammad, Allah even describing for us that those women are specially imported from hell. Do you know what does that mean? Why those, like, what do you think about why those women, Allah will take them from hell? Why they are coming from hell? Because they're the, cause they're the dirtiest. Because they are what? The dirtiest, because they are hookers. They are they are yeah. they are expert. Yeah. They are expert in sex. So Allah will choose for you mm -hmm. from the mm. from the warehouse of hell, the best of the <laughs> hookers who they are very good in all the skills of sex. We don't have to give details. And now He described to us that they are very beautiful to the point you will be crazy when you see their boobs and their vagina. Except, excuse my language. <laughs> no, it's, it's what fine. kind of a prophet He said that? And look what He continues saying. And He will have. He will have. A male member which will never became a flaccid, i.e., soft limp. Okay, I get you. This is God. How that can no. be God? How this how this is can be a prophet of God is speaking to me about heaven of God, saying to me, Don't worry, be happy. Allah will provide you with penis, will never go sleep because it's made from concrete. And the women, Allah will go to the warehouse of hell and he will import for you. The best women in sex from hellfire. Yeah. So my friend Adam, what are you waiting for? Denounce this garbage, man. This is this is not for you. You are smarter than this. You are honorable man. You cannot be a person who belong to this. So where do I belong? Do you want to belong to Muhammad after what you heard? Do you want to belong to this? Do you want really to believe in someone teaching you this? Mm. Be honest. Well, no. Yeah, I hear you. Can you hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, so um, based on what you said, no, but, you know. No. So my friend, say it. Say Muhammad can't be a prophet. Denounce Muhammad right now. Denounce the devil, my friend. I'm waiting. So you want me to... Denounce, oh, denounce. The, denounce the devil, denounce Muhammad. Obviously, this is the devil, my friend. Say Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. I am out of this. Okay. So what is it? What, what do you think? What you should say? I think. <sighs> Tough words, to be honest with you. I know you are a man of courage and you can say it, my friend. Denounce him. Your honor is in the stake. Your honor. Do you accept this? This is this is about honor. A person who this is where I come from, do you know what I mean? Sorry? This is what I come from. No, no, you see, you, you, you did not choose where you are coming from. Nothing wrong with that. You see, I, me, and you we did not choose, but when we grow. Yeah, but God, I can't say to you, I can't say to you them words and then then go to my community and pretend that I never said this. We'll say it. It's, you know, it's, it's, uh, you, you want to go to the community, you say to them, you want to be a hypocrite? 
I don't want to be hypocrite either. So? You are worried about your community, but you are not worried about mm -hmm. your honor. You want to you wanna, you wanna fool yourself, says, I don't this. So you are saying to me, okay, I agree with you. Muhammad is a false prophet. Obviously, this is devilish. Cannot be from God. But because I have a community and I have to make them happy with me, I'm not going to say that. Yeah. But that means I accept with my respect to you to be hypocrite. Hypocrisy, hypocrisy is to say to people not what I believe is not what they think is right for them. Correct? Yeah. So now you believe that Muhammad is not a prophet, but yet you want to say to them Muhammad is a prophet just because you don't want to make them make them sad. But but that you know you will respect respect yourself. It's up to you, you know. So denounce Muhammad, say be a man, and I'm sure you are the man. Denounce him and say, Muhammad can't be a prophet. There is no way I'm going to follow such a man. Okay, uh, Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Yeah. I mean to that, wonderful. I'm so happy for you, my friend Muhammad, or Adam, sorry. And, you know, I'm happy for you that you make a decision. Now, as long you made a decision that Muhammad is a false man, which is a wonderful thing to do, I want you to step back and think about what is next. What is the best to follow? Maybe nothing is best to follow. Maybe stay an atheist or maybe the Messiah who is no name like him and no name better than him. He never say false. He never speak sin. He never do sin. The one who is above the heaven and the earth, the one who did miracles, which is amazing. The one who said something nobody can say, love your enemy. So I am inviting you right now to accept my Lord, the Messiah, to be your savior. I'm not forcing you to accept it. Because in Christianity, you have to be reborn again. There's nothing that's called born of a Christian family. We don't believe in that. You have to be reborn again with the Christ, which means you have to make a decision of your own. That I am Adam, who was a Muslim, and now I denounce the devil. I want to accept the Messiah as my Savior, as my personal God. That is a personal choice you make, not something you inherit. We are not Muslim, we don't believe in that. So if you mm. want to accept the Messiah, I invite you right now, I have the honor to present to you the best name of the good God, which his name is amazing. His name is the Messiah. If you like to accept him, feel free to say, I accept. Except. Amazing, I mean, I mean, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today, my friend Adam, there is a there is a happiness in the heaven. The Bible says, when a person, one person is saved, there is a happiness in the kingdom of God. Imagine how much loving God He is. While Muhammad is busy killing, chopping heads, killing people just to please his God, our God said that the happiness will be in the heaven of God. Just because you Adam now you accept him so my friend Adam I'm so happy to have you today as my guest I believe that the Lord he sent you in my way and the Lord he sent me in your way so me and you we can witness for him and the Lord the Messiah he said every two of you say my name I will be the third Jesus right now is with us he heard you he heard me and today from today you are a child of God you are a child of God. <clears throat> People, they think when we say we are children of God, that means God have sex with our mother. That is an Islam, my friend. Our God is our father because he is not the God of his slaves. When they asked Jesus how to pray, he did not say, oh God, forgive me. Oh God, look what he said. Amazingly, every word is speaking wisdom. Our father out of heaven. The first thing you call God, our father. We are not slaves as the Quran says you ask a Muslim why Allah created us he says to worship him and to be his slaves that is the God of echo worship self-esteem our God he love us we are the children of God and then he said ask God for forgiveness but the same as you forgive to others which means Jesus is teaching us to be an amazing loving people who forgive others before we ask for forgiveness do you understand me Adam what I'm saying yeah. Before I pray to God to forgive Christian Prince, let us say I am Adam. 
and now mm. uh, to forgive me i am adam i don't in christianity you wouldn't pray oh god forgive me only no i have to forgive the one who hurted me before before i ask for my forgiveness because if i am a sinner myself i don't deserve to for to be forgiven if i don't forgive others and that's what i said to you in the beginning if you don't have honor you cannot give honor if you don't have quality you cannot give equality mm -hmm. so here jesus is teaching you and teaching me that before we ask for forgiveness we speak to the father as a father and then we deliver forgiveness to others we forgive others and then we ask for forgiveness and that is the best of jesus my friend when he said love your enemy you see adam if the whole world practice one sentence of Jesus, not the whole book, just one sentence, which is love your enemy, do you think that we will have war ever again? Mm. If everybody love his enemy, do you think we will have a thief? If everybody love everybody, nobody will steal your money, right? You can leave the window open. If some, if everybody love everybody, do you think somebody will get killed? The no. whole world will become heaven and earth just for one sentence of the teaching of Christ. So what about we do the rest? One sentence of Jesus will change the whole earth, will make the earth an earthly heaven if we follow him. So my friend, right now, because you accepted Jesus as your savior, you are an earthly heaven, and I have the privilege to welcome you to be called a child of God and to be a person who be loved by the Messiah. And right now, he speaks to you through my mouth. Welcome to Christianity, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any question, Adam? Um, no, no, I just. Um... Well, I will be happy if you have any question. You can call me back anytime you wish. And I'm so glad to know you and to meet you today and to speak to you. Yeah, yeah, it's been a pleasure to be honest with you. All right. Uh, been... Sorry, again, say again. I'm just, uh, I've been watching a few of the videos and um, yeah, I just felt really good for you. Look like the devil is trying to 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 mute you. The the voice is cutting off. <laughs> anyway, my friend, you are welcome, and I'm happy to 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 speak to you. Feel free to call me again anytime you wish. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Beautiful, beautiful. May the Lord bless you and bless your family. And you see, Adam, even though you are your family are Muslims, we as a Christians. We should pray for them as Muslims. You see, Christians, when they go to church, I advise you, by the way, Adam, to go to a church, meet with the Christians, ask for baptism. Baptism is you making it official that you are a follower of the Messiah. And you will see with your own eyes that when the Christian, they pray, they don't pray the same as the Muslim in the mosque. May Allah destroy them. May Allah kill them. May Allah, etc. Please, Allah, don't make us the same as the Christian and the Jews who they are lost. They will pray for every single human in the, in the in the world. We pray for Muslims. We pray for atheists. We pray for the Hindus. We pray for the Buddhas. We pray for every single human. And this is what is Jesus is about. Happiness today in the kingdom of God for our brother Adam, who left Islam and accepted Christianity at this moment. Do we have any other Muslim he want to call us? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? I am sure that there is many Muslims now are upset from me. How many Muslims are upset right now? I'm sure many, many Muslims are upset. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim is not convinced in anything, you know, like we said. Who want to prove me wrong? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and prove me wrong? Maybe you can call me. Maybe you can show Adam 
that's I wasn't telling the truth. You know what I mean? Call me. The Muslims they claim that they have knowledge, but yet they want to schedule a debate about a topic. Why? Because they cannot answer anything. They have to prepare, and what they do, they go and download and copy paste from articles in the internet things they never even then self read where is hijab where is zakir naik where is uh, 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 shabir ali where is where, where are they they are doing business always always ask yourself what is missing why i am here for many hours every day yet those people don't have the courage to call me why they don't want to be doing an end of a career don't you want to do career end end my career here you go I mean, I, you see i'm not prepared for you i do not know you will call me call me now end my career please Happy for you, Adam, and may the Lord bless you, and may the Lord guide you, and may the Lord bless you and your family and your life, and you will see that your life will change. The second you accept the Christ, you are a different person, you are a different human being, you are a different creature. By Him, you are born again. Don't forget, my friend, I don't know where you live, I don't know who you are, don't forget to try your best to go to church and speak to the minister of the church and see if he can do baptism to you. And you will see that the Christian there, they will be happy to have you, but still they have to give you education about Christianity, which is nice. You should learn. And you should be a person who is well-versed. So the Lord, he might use you to bring more Muslims out of the cult of Islam. So you will be the fisherman who is fishing for good to save people. The Lord will bless you more than others because you are a Muslim who left Islam and because you will do your best to invite more and more people like you. You are not the same as a person who is born of a Christian family. You are blessed a lot more. For you choose him, fighting the temptation, which you said, as you said, your community. Fighting that you, accepting that you might even fight with your family. Your family might even hate you. But you choose his good name over any other name. This is why you will have more blessing than anyone of those who they are born of a Christian family, whoever Christianity is in this, just in their hand, all what they need to do is just to go to the church. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Please don't forget to subscribe. And I have two videos down in the channel there in the info, please, guys. And, and this is in my other backup channel. Don't forget to subscribe there. And don't forget to watch those two videos. One of them is somebody he asked uh, this guy hijab the kid that do you accept the debate christian prince he said yes he need to come to me i don't know what does that mean so i made a challenge for him as long as you say you, you yes when when we are going to do it i gave him 10 days to respond and to accept to do it and you will see what he would do and i will tell you from now he will say i want to meet you in such a place he knew the guy he told him this christian prince he do what he do in youtube he don't go anywhere he will put in any any obstruction in the way for this debate to happen you will see i have two videos there the other one about uh, this guy hijab claiming that the quran will not come as a person to intercede for the muslims and i'm getting him busted there do we have any muslim would like to call
we have 623 people listening but not yet a Muslim on a call anyone Mayday Mayday Shabir Ali is needed Mayday Mayday Zakir Naik is needed if we ask Zakir Naik, what do you say, brother Zakir Naik, about this hadith where the Prophet he described for us that Allah will import women for us from the heaven? Hello? Hello, Mr. Christian Prince? Yes, my, my friend. I know, my, 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 I, I, I'm, a little, I'm a little confused about some my, verse in the Quran. My, um, okay, my friend, my friend, I want only Muslim to call me. When I say Christians, oh. call me, please. You always do that. Wait for me until I say Christian can call, and then you can okay. call. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank okay. You. Thank no you problem. Me. Yeah. Guys, I want only Muslims to call me, please. I want only Muslims to call me. When I say Christians, please call me. Then feel free to call. If we ask Zakir Naik, what you explain to us the promise of the Prophet that your penis will never go sleep. What Zakir Nayak will say? Brother Sitter, there is a person in YouTube. His name is the Christian Prince. And by the way, Christian Prince is a coward. I asked Christian Prince many times to give me his real name, and he refused to give it to me. And the reason he don't want to give it to me because his name is very long and very ugly. Secondly, he don't want to throw out his faith. Brother Zakir Nayak, the question, the question. I am I'm going to answer the question. But I'm telling you a presentation about the person who brought the question. Okay. If you ask Christian Prince, where are you from, Christian Prince? He will say to you the following. I'm black, blonde, African-American. And this is the proof that he's a liar. How you can be black and front and American in the same time? Answer me, please. Did you hear Christian Prince saying that he's a blonde African-American from Japan? Yes, I heard him saying that he's a blonde African American from Japan. This is true. I told you he's a lion. You cannot. This is impossible. This is extremely impossible. So how you are going to believe the Christian Prince saying thing to you? Uh, but, but, Doctor Zakanaik, the Hadith in the front of us, it's the Prophet who said that. I understand, my friend. I understand. But don't talk the interpretation of the Hadith from Christian Prince. Uh, okay, can you please give us interpretation, uh, brother? I cannot say sister because this is a very hot topic. So we are going to say only brother or sister, please close your eyes and close your ears. When the prophet, he promised us that our member, male member is going to stand up for the anthem. What's wrong with that? Ah, okay. Uh, so brother, you are saying that this is uh, the male member will stand for the anthem? Yes, brother. Don't you see Trump? He's upset from the guy he did not stand up for the anthem? Yes, true. He Trump, he was upset from the guy who did not stand up for the anthem. And this is exactly, brother, what he said. The prophet, you want to be sure that you may remember, is ready any time to function. Uh, but, brother, what the anthem have to do with the male member? It is not about the anthem. I'm giving you an example. It looks like you are a stupid like Christian Prince. Okay, I'm, I'm listening, Dr. Zak, and I, please don't insult me. I'm smarter than Christian Prince. No, you are not smarter. And the proof, the proof is the following. As long as you are listening to Christian Prince, it means you are not smart. Otherwise, you explain to me why you are listening to him. See, I got a point. I got a point. I agree. I know this will happen. I know. I know this happened. You don't know Hebrew. You do not know Arabic and you are coming to me. Okay, brother. What about the question now? The prophet he described how the penis will be. And he will import women from heaven who they are going to be hookers. My friend, first of all, try to see the full side of the cup, not the empty one. The positive, not the negative. The prophet is promising you women who have a very beautiful boobs. What's your problem? Be honest with me. You are a man. Don't you like boobs? Yeah, obviously we do. See, brother? Focus in the positive, not in the negative. Uh, what about he is describing their front? I mean, you know, brother, do you like to have a woman? She have an ugly front. Be honest with me. No. See, brother, focus in the positive. Don't look at the empty cup on the side of the cup. Look at the full cup. 
you know, Dr. Zakir, really, really, I am amazed with your answer. It's really so smart. Brother, I told you, I told you, brother, don't listen to Christian Prince. He is nothing but a blonde African American from Japan. And this is enough to prove to us that he is not telling the truth. Thank you very much. And don't call me again, please. Thank you. That is Zakir Naik. Who is the Muslim when I call us, explain to us what we see in the screen? The Muslims once, they recorded me. You know, it was like I was in a chat room. And we are desperately waiting for a Muslim to accept to debate me. So I said, bring me a Muslim, I will give you five hamburgers. The Muslim, they went and they record my voice. And they start playing in their rooms, chat rooms, that the Christian prince, he make people leave Islam because he has given them five hamburgers. I will not be surprised if they accuse Adam that he left Islam because I promised him five hamburgers. I went to a chat room of Muslims and they said to me, Christian prince, now we know how, why people leave Islam when they talk to you. I said, why? They play my voice saying, bring me one Muslim, I will give you five hamburgers. So I took the microphone. I said, man, you got me busted. So are you saying to me, Muslims, that you're Muslims, you exchange your God for five hamburgers? At least make it 10. And you should see what happened. They went crazy. A lack of intellect and intelligence is the problem. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim? I see many Muslims in the text. They are angry. Anyone? No one? Again, don't forget, guys, to watch to watch those two YouTube. I made them today in my other backup channel. Please sub subscribe to that channel, too. I made two videos about the career ending. There's two links if you look at the info. There's one YouTube called Career Ending. All right. I advise you to watch it. Feel free to download it and share it with your friends. It's a comedy. And the second one is me offering hijab, who claimed that he is willing to debate me, to set up a time and a date for a debate. And let us see if he is the man of his words. It will be very embarrassing if you don't do it. Any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? And again, if you want to, you know, always you want to get the news, what we do here, there's two websites you see in the banner, in the, in the down the video. Uh, there's patreon.com slash Christian Prince, and then there is minds.com slash Christian Prince. Please subscribe to those, both uh, 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 pages, so always you will be updated. Any Muslim would like to call us? May they, may they. Any Muslim. If you are a person who he think somehow he is Shabir Ali, somehow he is Zakir Naik, somehow he is, I don't want to mention hijab because that will make you so funny, stupid. Somehow you are the dad. Do you like to call me? Anyone who want to accept that challenge? I am a Christian prince. I am challenging you. Your God is false. Your prophet is false. Your Quran is false. Can you prove me wrong? Can you prove me wrong? What about Jehovah's Witnesses? Jehovah's Witnesses are funny people. You can defeat Jehovah's Witnesses in two seconds. Go and watch my video. I met them in the street. I actually I wasn't intended to debate them or anything, but they run away from me. They changed even the place they, they were standing on. Jehovah's Witnesses, they speak the same as the Muslim. They target those who know nothing about the Bible. The second you know what you are what, what they are talking about, the second you will know that they are false.
some they are saying that Jehovah's Witnesses they get scared because I look scary I agree maybe I mean maybe you know and the proof of that <clears throat> I am still single right once I get in the elevator and the elevator was full of mirrors I get out right away like what who's that True story, by the way. You can find it in Sahih Bukhari, said by the Prophet Muhammad himself. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Are you sure? Are you sure? Do you look so scary? Ask my mom. You know what happened to me is exactly what happened to Muhammad when he was a kid nobody want to nurse him he Muslims why nobody want to nurse Muhammad anybody can tell me is that because he looked like Christian Prince or something else to the point his family they deliver him to a better women in the middle of nowhere to get rid of him uh, look what Jane she is saying you are a beautiful CP in your spirit. Thank you very much. At least I have a beautiful spirit. Man, that would be really bad. Like, at least a spirit is good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I feel better now. I was, by the way, I was thinking to commit suicide the same as the Prophet Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a prophet who want to commit suicide? And each time he tried to throw himself from the top of the mountain, the angel appeared to him and he held him from his panty and he said to him, Please, Muhammad, Habibi Muhammad, Habibi, don't jump, Muhammad. And Muhammad says to him, leave me, leave me, leave me, please. I want to jump. I want to jump. And the angel says, Muhammad, please don't do that, Muhammad. You are a truly, 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 truly a prophet. And Muhammad then, okay. And he calmed down and he changed his mind of jumping. Am I lying, Muslims? Am I lying that your prophet, he tried to commit suicide many times? And each time he tried to jump from the mountain, the angel holding from his panty says to him, don't do it. Hello? Hello? A prophet of God, he want to kill himself. Anyone? We have a guy saying bye bye. I mean, you see, my friend, our program here is the same as Islam. You can join, you cannot leave. <laughs> this is the only way we can keep our number big. You can get in, but you cannot get out. What a cult. Any Abdul? Close the door, close the door, brother. The brother, close the door, brother. It's like an insect trap. You go in, you cannot get out. Last call for Muslims before we close the door of the airplane. Who want to go with me in the top of a flying carpet, the same as used to be owned by Prophet Solomon? As you know, we are Middle Eastern. We have a lot of them. Alibaba. Flying carpet? You people believe in flying carpet? Must be true. You are addictive. You see, the best thing human being he can have is his intelligence. It is the best joy in life. And I am very thankful for my Lord. For he is my guide and he is the one who put wise words in my mouth. Sometimes we do foolishness, sometimes we do speak foolishness, you know. But I believe truly that wisdom come by him and from him. The more you are close to him, the more you are close to wisdom. The second you step away, it is the same second you start doing foolishness and stupidity. And all of us, we do that. All of us, we are sinners. I am a sinner like you. The difference between us and Muslims, we don't believe that the good deed will delete the bad deeds, which is a very stupid idea, will, 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 will promote crimes and criminals. 
Good deeds in Christianity is the fruit of the good God. It's not about erasing bad deeds. Bad deed is there. The second you make a crack, you know, like a crack in in a glass, that's it. The, the crack is there. That is sin. So one day you will look at your glass and you will wonder how many cracks you have. So God will forgive you not because you made a good deeds, even though good deeds is a is an automatic response for you being a good person following God. Good deeds is not the reason to go to heaven, but yet it is going to be automatic for you are the person who followed the good God, Jesus. This is why Jesus, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them, not from their names. And the good of fruits is not going to save you, but if you don't have good of fruits, that means you are a hypocrite. How a person can be following the good God, but yet he don't have a good fruits? It's impossible. Imagine you are a Christian, but there is a person who is a Muslim. Let us say a Muslim in the front of my door now and dying from hunger or from cold. How I can be Christian if I don't protect him and feed him and keep him warm until the storm is over so he can live, he can survive? My friend. Our God is the good God. All other gods are false. There's many gods in this earth. But all of them, they teach you nothing but selfishness. A Muslim, he believes in God, not because he loves God, but because he loves his private part. A Muslim want to do jihad, not because he's convinced that jihad is a joy, but he's convinced that he is going to go to heaven and he will provide him a lot of women. Otherwise, what the promise of women is about? What the promise of uh, shish kebab is about? Since when God is about food? Since when God is about private part? Since when God is a pimp? That cannot be of God. God has nothing to do with this. That is of the devil. You see, if the God of Islam is God, we need to ask ourselves, how come God in the beginning, he created one Adam and one Eve, and they were in heaven? Yet at the end, Allah will create, or oh sorry, he created already, millions of people and then he will send them to heaven and then each one of them he have thousands of women for sex where is eve muhammad he stole the idea of eve and then he made different ending for heaven where heaven became a pimp house shouldn't we ask ourselves this question god he made one eve for adam how come in heaven, Adam, the Muslim, he will have 80,000 women, which all of them, they will look the same, which is very stupid. All of them, they have one name, which is very stupid. Imagine you go to a dating website and you read the profile of women there and all the profile, they say, my name is, my name is Huri, Hur. I am uh, 14 years old. I have a black eyes, white face. And I am 5.5. What a stupid website. Every profile in the dating website have the same picture, the same name, the same age, the same height. And I'm going to date them all. Don't you think this is silly? Isn't it all is one person anyway? If they have the same height, the same name, the same voice, the same face, the same eyes, the same lips, the same look. What the point of this website? Uh, the complosion section in the Quran.
Hold on, somebody's asking question. <clears throat> Allah and his prophet changed the mind no he did not he did not change his prophet. you see you you people you don't have a good understanding for the Quran you know when Muhammad he said that there is no uh, enforcement in religion he was not talking about enforcement of Islam he was saying to those who they trying to not make uh, uh, make their children believe in Islam saying to them you cannot force your children not to believe in Islam this is what the verse is about. This is not about a, uh, there's a freedom of religion in Islam. They did not change his, his mind. It's still the same. But Muhammad was saying to those who they are trying to forbid their children from converting to Islam, there's no complosion in religion, which means you cannot force your children not to convert to Islam. But Muhammad, he said, I've been ordered to fight all mankind until I kill them, or they convert to Islam and they pay jizya. If they are Christians, all mankind they have to be fought. Either they accept Islam, and not only they say shahada, they have to worship as we worship, and they have to do what we do. They have to pray as we pray. We have to. They have to slaughter as we slaughter. Even the slaughter have to be as Muhammad said. You have to eat as he eat. You have to face the qibla, which means direction of the Kaaba. If you don't do that. Then Muhammad will kill you. You see, all those hadith confirming what I just said. Muhammad is a monster with his sword. He wanna force his idea on you. You have to do what he do. You have to believe in what he believe. You have to practice what he practice. You have to believe that he is a prophet, otherwise, he will slaughter you and will rape your wife and your children. And I challenge any Muslim to say to me, I'm not telling the truth. It's in front of you. All those hadith. And they are authentic. And yet they lie to us and they say Islam means peace. Islam is, does not mean peace. The word peace in Arabic is salam. If you want to learn about Islam, including what Islam means, you can go and get my books from Amazon. Depending on your country, if your country is Germany, go to Amazon.de. If your country is a France, go to uh, uh, Amazon.fr. If you are in USA, go to Amazon.com, etc. So just search there for a Christian prince and you will find a list of books written by me and even in many other languages. So, uh, what Muslims they say to us about Islam being peace is nothing but a false propaganda far away from any truth. It is the opposite. And we can prove that easy. And I change anyone, any Muslim right now to call me and to challenge me to prove what I just said. Just challenge me. Say, Christian Prince, you did lie. Where you, how you can prove to me that Islam does not mean peace? Who want to do that? Who is the Muslim is willing to do that? Anyone? Look like there is nobody in the bushes of the Muslims there to do it. Anyone? May they, may they. A challenge is mentioned. Who can prove to me that I am lying when I said Islam does not mean peace? Life is challenge. You can be whoever you want. You can be a big Muslim, small Muslim, I don't care. You can be a person who claimed to be Zakir Naik or even did that coming back from the grave. I don't care. Get me busted. Anyone? Don't forget to please to subscribe and to like if you are a Muslim. Because the only one who like my videos are Muslims, obviously. <laughs>
That's a lie. Obviously, you're trying to be number like Muhammad now. Well, it's good to be Muhammad for some time. You see, I asked once a Muslim, why Muhammad, he said, you can lie in three cases and one of them lying to your wife. He said, okay, if your wife, uh, let me tell you, if your wife, she is ugly and she said to you, do you think I am beautiful? What do you will say? You will say you are ugly? My friend, why you marry an ugly, ugly woman if she is ugly? If you think she is ugly, because if you love her really, if you are... This is a proof that you must have don't marry because you love you marry just because okay Maybe one day she was beautiful and now she is not so you are you see her ugly creature. You are sick of her So you lie to her If you're really a person who marry based on love you will see her beautiful it doesn't matter even if she is 100 years old What kind of religion teach that I can lie to my wife to my family, to my friends, and to my enemies. I understand you like your enemy to save yourself. Okay. You are captured by enemy. You will not tell them even about your country. No problem. But what about lying to your family? How we can lie to fix problems? Islam teach that we can lie to fix problems. Since when lying will fix problems? People later, they will find that I was lying and the problem will get bigger. How come the God of the Christian, the Christ, he said, don't even take an oath. Either you say yay, yay, or nay, nay. And anything else is from the devil, from shaitan. Anything else from shaitan. Which means anything additional to that is satanic. That is your prophet teaching. Either nay, nay, or yay, yay. Be honest. A person who want to take an oath, obviously he lied all day, and now he tried to prove that he is honest. That is Islam. And by the way, the Quran says that Allah will not take you accountable for taking false, false oath. What kind of religion teach such a teaching? Uh, the friend is asking me in Arabic to put a translation underneath. My friend, what I can do? I, I don't have time for all of this. I'm working my books. Ya Azizi. Laysa yadaya waqt tarjama. In Ahbabt, Bimkanak and to Tarjim. He's asking me, the brother here in Arabic, asking me if I can put a translation for my videos. That is really mission impossible. It's a lot of work. I cannot do that. Sorry. You can help if you want. You can take my videos and you can repost them and you can put the translation if you can. Do we have any Muslim? Maybe, maybe. Mayday, mayday. Any Muslim he accept to debate me. Somewhere there is an uh, there is a there is a whale called Noon. Yes, there is a whale called Noon. Yes. And he is carrying the earth in the top of it. Absolutely. If we if you can get me a Muslim to call me, I will show you, I will show him noon. I will show him the whale who carried the earth. From his own books. And by the way, this is the true brother. Me as an Arab, we, because we are the Arab, we are the first people who discover everything. You see the Muslim, they say to you that science, all the scientists, the base of everything are coming from the Arab. By the way, all the ones the Muslims are proud about today, they are scientists. In the time of Islam, when the Muslims were there, they attack them, they kill them, they slaughter them, and they accuse them to be either Christians or atheists or out of Islam. Even the philosopher Ibn Khaldun was humiliated. Not a single Muslim, the one Muslims they choose to call them scientists, was respected by Muslims. But today, they speak about them highly to make Islam look better. But those people, they are not Muslims. I am taking source of a context. Okay, my friend Hassan, why you don't call me, my friend? Mr. Hassan, are you there? Why you don't call me and show people that I am taking things out of context? Guys, do you think Mr. Hassan will call us? Why you don't call and get me busted right now? Hassan, can you do it, please? 
everybody here say Hassan, Hassan, call us, Hassan, hey Hassan, Hassan. Let, let us let us support the guy. Hassan, get him busted. Hassan, ha Hassan is the man. You are the man. Hassan, come on, Hassan. Look, everybody is asking for you. Everybody in the stadium is waiting for Hassan. Hassan, can you please call us and get me busted? Hassan, please. Don't play that, Hassan. Everybody is waiting for you, including the girls. Don't you want to see the girls that you are a hero? Muslim girls, my friend. The ones who put like five kilograms of makeup. Don't you want to see them? Be proud about you? Why you don't call uh, your scholars to call me and get me busted, Hassan? If you cannot do it, call somebody professional. Hello? Hassan is playing dead now. Suddenly he's not moving. He was active a second ago. Now Hassan is in the coma section. The second you mentioned their names, they stop moving. Oh, he saw me. Uh oh, he's talking about me. Uh oh, uh, I thought he's not watching. Hello, Hassan. Hassan, yeah, Hassan. Uh, you don't have a Skype. I mean, this is very convincing. As if having a Skype is like going to the warehouse to buy it. It's a free. It take you two seconds to download it. What do you mean I don't have a Skype? I'm a liar. Prove it. Okay. You have YouTube. You have internet. But you don't have a Skype, who's going to believe you? And you are calling me the liar. Obviously, you are the liar. Otherwise, how, how in the world do you say you don't have a Skype? Okay, call me in Skype and swear by Allah that you don't have a Skype. Do it. It sounds funny, isn't it? Guys, once in the chat room, I have a guy like this, the guy Hassan. He came to the chat and he said in the text, I don't have a mic. I said to him, Really? You are in Pal Talk, you are in the chat, you don't have a mic? I said, okay, come to the mic, swear by Allah that you don't have a mic. So he came to the mic, the idiot, and he swear by Allah, by his voice, that you don't have a mic. I'm, I'm telling you, the Muslims are blessed one with intelligence. He took the mic, he said, I swear by Allah, I don't have a mic. So I took the mic from him, I said, you idiot. How you don't have a mic and you were speaking using your printer? Hassan, what about you call me by Skype? And swear by Allah that you didn't have a Skype. Can you do so, brother? Please, can you do that, please? Everything I do is hilarious. Trust me. If you guys, if you experience what I experienced with Muslims through many, many years, you know, I don't know how many of you knows for how long I am I'm exposing this cult. But I sometimes I'm driving. Or I'm even traveling, and then a moment of the past came in my head, like sometime a flash of a, a debate or something. And I laugh, and people, they look at me like, why this guy is laughing? Like, you know, who's listening to who, talking to who? <laughs> it looked like Muhammad talking to himself. All right? All right, guys. Now it's getting almost 6 o'clock, and look like we don't have too many opportunity to speak to Muslims. So uh, we will end today our video and we pray that the Muslims will see the truth and trust me Muslims we love you we really love you as the Messiah he ordered us to do and because we love you we want you to be saved we want you to know the truth we want you to come to the salvation of Jesus God is not a pimp my friend don't believe in somebody saying to you stupid things about your penis will be endless that is an endless stupidity endless penis will end under the train and this penis might end in the sewage or it might end in the wrong place i'm not going to give you details endless penis is a stupid idea only stupid people believe in it i don't want to have a wife her ass is one mile i mean this is really scary especially if you decide to fart and somebody smoking a cigarette and as you know fart is a flammable my friend use your brain if you have one use your brain if you have one but I cannot say more than if you have one. And the question is, do you have one? I will leave that question for you. You are the only one who can answer such a question.
not me with this I want to say may the Lord bless you and until we see you tomorrow I hope Christ is Lord and Islam is false and we see you soon again take care and God bless bye bye